First time I saw her carrying a gun, I think I was 12. And uh, 20, 25 automatic. It was just real little. I, it was so little, I'd be walking around with it all day, every day in my hand, and you wouldn't even know I had it. We live in a dream that should have never been. There's no rest out here. You wake up with gang culture on your mind. You wake up saying that I might not make it through the day. No matter who you are, if you live in Compton, one way or another, you're affected by the gang activity, the gang violence. You know, you might feel like you're not affected, but in one way or another, you're affected. I was for real. You can kill me, I can kill you. You know, I got shot three times in the streets of Compton. So at the end, I can be killed and you can be killed. That's why I love the mayor so much. She took her time out to come see about us when we was thrown away. Even to this day, we was thrown away. She came and said, get everybody together and let's do something special. I believe perception is more powerful than reality. And when people think of Compton, they think of gangster rap, they think of gang members, they think of bloods and crips, they think of violence. And it was imperative for me to really focus on getting to the root of what people think of and then also making sure that we can eradicate those issues in order to, to really build a better Compton. My mother grew up in a Compton that was amazing and awesome. She went fishing, she rode bikes, she was a, a child that was free and had a great childhood. And um, later growing up and when she became an adult, her mother was murdered in the city and she moved out um, of the city of Compton and raised my brother and I in a very similar environment. I knew that in order for Compton to have an opportunity to transform and to recover, that we needed a great leader. And so I approached certain people that I thought had good leadership qualities to run for office, and each person pointed the finger back at me. And I decided, and just from being raised by my mother, that you know you never point out problems without being ready to offer a solution. And so I decided that I would run for mayor. My focus was getting together the gang members and, and really being able to identify, you know, what are the issues? Can we have peace? Can we transform our community for the betterment of our families and for our future? And so that was really the, the main focus of getting people together is to have peace, but also to be able to um, influence the power of perception and to dissuade it from where it was 25 years ago and to be able to carve out a new place today. I would love for my legacy to be that I was a woman of compassion, that I came to serve and not be served, and that I was truly concerned about those that society considers to be the least of those, and that I truly was able to restore hope and to encourage a movement of people to take back their communities and to really stand for their families and for their neighborhoods. For our kids, our youth, to have understanding that they can do what they want to do and don't be criticized for it. I just want to see the little kids grow up. You know, when I was growing up, we used to, we could stay outside, summertime, we could stay outside 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 at night, be all out in the streets playing, every, no problem. The murder rate then went down 30, 35 to 40%. Kids at the park playing. Kids going to school without an incident. She have done this. She have really helped us move forward. One day we all be gone, but this legacy will live on. This understanding what she have done. So if I call her brave, she be our brave.